There might be a bit of background noise. Not much I can do about it. Uh, it's a quick video. Please feel free to re-upload this video. We need to get this kind of stuff out. Typhoon uh, is being blamed in the Philippines. It was an F4 tornado, 100 miles wide. And then uh, it was still a tornado for 200 miles on either side of it. But anyway, they're at the climate meeting. And of course, you know, people that are traumatized from the Philippines. Uh, science tells us simply that climate change will mean more intense tropical storms as the earth warms up. That would include the oceans. The energy that is stored, the energy that is stored in the waters off the Philippines will increase the intensity of the typhoons. Okay, that's the global warming. Then we got the Telegraph where he wrote another article and they don't mention about uh, the 300 tons a day coming out of Fukushima, radioactive water. But it As highly me. radioactive water from Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant is pouring out at a rate of 300 tons a day. In another one of the telegram, they actually do mention it, but at the bottom of the article, in July, the company confirmed that as much as 300 tons of water escaped into the Pacific every day since the disaster struck 29 months ago, see? But come up and look, you got to go a long way up, and they mentioned 300 a number of times, but it's not a day. You got to go all the way to the bottom of the article to read that part, see? And this was in August. Japan raises severity ratings for Fukushima leaks. And it's only when you get at the bottom of it. But Julian uh, Royal from Tokyo, that's the game he played. I just want to show you very quick here. Now, he'll mention 300 tons. Right? So people glance over things all the time. So they, at this stage, you might read everything, see? But the NRA raised the warning levels after 300 tons of contaminated coolant seeped from storage tanks and left pools of radioactive water. See that 300 tons? And then the 100 millisieverts, and then 350,000 tons stored there. And as you come down, you find out it's 300 tons of water escaping to the Pacific every day for 20, 29 months, okay? 300 tons a day. Now, why is that important? Well, here's the academic journal based upon just two weeks' release over a six year period, right? And you can see the entire Pacific Ocean is going to end up contaminated. So that's radiated water. The gamma, beta isotopes are all producing uh, uh, energy. The lands that were grossly contaminated by the destruction of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant are, are classified the, by the number of curies of radiation per square kilometer. There were 3,840 square miles of land contaminated with 15 to 40 curies of radiation per square kilometer. These lands are considered strict radiation dose control zones. The 1,100 square mile uninhabitable exclusion zone that surrounds a destroyed Chernobyl reactor has greater than 40 curies of radioactivity per square kilometer. For those more familiar with square miles, that would be 104 curies per square mile. One curie is defined as that amount of any radioactive material that will decay at a rate of 37 billion disintegrations per second. They get sucked up here, right? And what do you end up with? You end up with a catastrophic typhoons. Thousands of people are still missing across the central Philippines, and many areas are unreachable. And then blame it on climate change. We can take drastic action now to ensure that we prevent a future where super typhoons become a way of life. Super typhoon Haiyan, perhaps unknown to many here, made landfall in my own family's hometown. And the devastation is staggering. I struggle to find words even for the images that we see on the news coverage. And I struggle to find words to describe how I feel about the losses. Up to this hour, I agonize, waiting for words to the fate of my very own relatives. And that's the Telegraph and the Guardian, rather, two of them, working hand in hand, see? They work hand in hand. He wrote his article, um, but they work so they work together to fool people, to trick people. Because a lot of people use those two sites back and forth. It's very scary stuff, folks. That they won't acknowledge that 300 tons a day of isotopes and gamma and beta and 1,300 weaponized isotopes. I want you to remember that there's a million gallons running over each core. Those three melted cores a minute. 
That's 1,440 minutes in a day, and that's uh, 977 days now. And that ocean is off by about 100,000 of how radiated should be. And so these typhoons are going to get three, four, and 500 miles an hour. And the Guardian is not going to tell you they're going to blame it on global warming, just like they just done at the Telegraph and the Guardians. They do this all the time. And at this stage of the game, where billions of people will get cancers because of their lies and will never have a chance because of their lies, we have to call them out. And so please share this video, re-upload it, whatever way you like. You don't even have to link back to me if you don't want to. Try to fool them that way, but get the information out there in this context. It's vital. We have no choice. They don't, they're not leaving us no choice, okay? They're not going to tell people the truth. All of us at TEPCO will strive relentlessly to control the contaminated water. With regard to the impact of radioactive materials, we monitor radiation levels at various points and disclose the results of this monitoring operation. We believe that the impact on the surrounding waters is limited to the area within the port of the power plant and that Judging by the result of our monitoring three kilometers offshore, there has been no impact on the water or the wider ocean. The simulation, which was run by a German marine research institute, shows the entire Pacific waters being polluted by radioactive water in just six years. It's up to you, it's up to us, it's up to everyone to push back. No, push back, please. I'm begging people. We can do this. We can defeat them. All we got to do is bring the truth to the light. And this is real truth. When you show them that model, go look it up yourself, right? That's from the major Asian media, folks. The English version, radioactive water, based upon um, a study that is only a couple of weeks. And I covered that a few videos back in one of my short videos. And I'll just click on it right now and move over to that one. So more simulations and the long-term dispersal of the 137 cesium, they're not talking about plutonium, they're not talking about strontium, they're not talking about the 1300 radio isotopes that are released in trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of the gamma and beta particles per minute on this planet. And we have to bring these people to account before it's too late. And I can assure you that if you don't do it now, our times are short because if we do it now, we can change the game. If we don't do it now, they're going to win. And it's not a game for them, see? They're, they're out to win. They're out to trick all of you. They're out to give you all cancer. They're out to watch you all die. That's, they don't care, you know? These peer review studies, I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about The Guardian. I'm talking about The Telegraph. I'm talking about all the mainstream media, CNN, BBC, CBC. I'm talking about all of these creatures that know better and are skewing the truth. Studies from last year indicate that radioactive water will contaminate the entire Pacific Ocean in just six years. And now they're going to blame it on your pop cans, your plastic bags, and your glass bottles. It's heartbreaking. And they're using the loved one's trauma in order to come out. I speak for my delegation, but I I speak, speak for the countless people who will no longer be able to speak for themselves. And blame it on your pop bottles. I speak for those of the people now raising it's time to save survivors and alleviate the suffering of the people affected. Blame it on your children. After perishing from the storm, I speak also for those who have been orphaned by the storm. Blame it on your little automobiles. We can take drastic action now to ensure that we prevent a future where super typhoons become a way of life. Japan, see how they skewed that? Even in August of 2013, they can't come out and say 300 tons a day in a headline. They just can't do it. They got to put it at the very bottom of the article and put a whole, whole bunch of 300 and, uh, before it to skew it. See? Tell the truth. People are big. They can handle it. That's the reality of it. They can't tell you the truth because they won't have a job tomorrow morning when they wake up. That's the facts. Take care, folks. Because cancer, leukemia, genetic mutations, birth defects, malformations, and abortions at concentrations almost below human recognition and comprehension, they are lethal at the atomic or molecular level.
we will continue to announce all relevant information in a timely and proper manner. We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.